I've just done an experiment that has surprised me. I wanted to show and explain about the Carver Sonic Hologram Generator. That's this long box right here. And my goal was to make two short recordings, about 30 seconds each, and hoping that by playing it on this laptop, I could hear the difference, and I can. That really surprised me. This is the unit. You can see I put a ruler in front of it so you can see about how big it is. And here's the buttons on the front, and in this demonstration, I've got all the buttons engaged. They're all pushed in. And this is the Carver Sonic Hologram Generator Model C9. Here's the back. And here's the information that's on the back of this unit. It's very simple to use. It just has a stereo input and a stereo output. And you've probably noticed by now, here's the uh, fuse. It doesn't take very much power. Also, there's no on and off switch. Here is my setup. I have a pair of Dahlquist DQ-10s. And if you're not familiar with the DQ-10s, they are phased array, meaning that there is a left and a right speaker. And for using the hologram generator, they sit side by side, only 18 inches apart and I sit right in the middle right in front where the X is and the sound is just absolutely amazing I had bought my sonic hologram generator before I had moved to Chicago which was in 1979 and when I uh, moved out to the West Coast around the Seattle area I got to meet Bob Carver he was having a get-together at one of the high-end audio stores and he explained uh, how the generator worked but of course not how he did it and it was very interesting I'm glad that uh, I did get to Meet Mr. Carver. He's an amazing audio engineer. For this experiment, I'm going to capture the same clip from a vinyl record without the sonic hologram generator and then with the sonic hologram generator. This clip is without the sonic hologram generator. This clip is with the sonic hologram generator. repeating in the same order.
You can download these files that I used to make this video. The links are in the more information of this video. The ORG stands for the original file from the vinyl. And the Sonic, of course, stands for the Sonic Hologram Generator.